just wanted to give a brief explanation of what we've got here. We've got six and a half horsepower petrol engine directly coupled to a 120 amp automotive alternator. The only difference is we have bypassed the internal regulator and we are tapping off the field winding and inside the controller box we have a three stage charger. So it's a three stage regulator. It, what it will do, it will sense the battery voltage and if um, we need, let's say for instance, 50 amp to recharge a battery, the alternator will go at full charge according to what the battery needs and then it will taper off, go to absorption stage and then eventually to float stage. The voltage can be adjusted on the inside through a pot depending on the type of battery that we have, whether it's an automotive battery, a deep cycle battery, lead acid, and inside is our auto controller to automatically start up the petrol motor. We have uh, a, low, a low set threshold for the battery, so if it drops below, let's say for instance 11 volts, generator will start up, it will give three attempts to start. Three attempts meaning, for instance, if it's cold, if it hasn't been started for a while, it will automatically try and start. If it doesn't go the first time, it will attempt a second time and a third time. If all else fails after the third attempt, it will go into an error state and it will give us a notification through email. And obviously once it starts up, charges the battery bank, and then once it reaches float stage, the generator will switch off. Now, also we have manual choke and had to retrofit a solenoid. So when it attempts to start, the choke flips over and then returns back to normal position. This is a 120 amp alternator as I mentioned, 12 volt, and it is connected to Wi-Fi and everything gets controlled from a mobile app. I'll just set this a little bit aside for now. We'll start and you can see here, just start it up. We just have an indication LED showing us when it connects to the net. That's obviously connected now and might be a little bit dark, it's initializing. Now we're reading the battery voltage, it's 12.35. These two are just for my own purpose at the moment and we have the charging amps. Now the battery, because it's uh, almost fully charged, it's not a very good battery, it's quite a few years old, um, it might not require many, many amps to fill up, but we'll just give it a shot, see what it does. We'll do this manually. show you the manual choke as well.